Hi everyone, welcome back to Paper Confessions with Karamia. Today I'm back with a little project share I'm working on for my October daily journal. In the last few years, I have made different themes, but a lot of them are really in the cute Halloween style. Like uh, last year, I think this was last year, um, I did the sticker prompts that I found one. This is like 13 days of Halloween. So I thought this was really fun. Um, if you want to see a full flip through, I'll, I'll try and put it um, in the end or link it. And then here's another one that I did that I really love. We have Casper the Ghost. And this is like an accordion style journal. And the prompts were from Kia Creates and Inspiring Journal. So that's what inspired this. And let's see. So this was last year, 2023. And this was this had to be another year. But um, I had so much fun. Uh, using prompts is just a wonderful way to kind of help you get you started and motivated on what kind of layout. So the type of journaling I like to do in October is something more simple, not very uh, detailed. I don't really write any entries. It's more like just getting your creativity out. So this year I decided I was going to do pocket letter style and I was going to alter this book and house them in here. Now I needed some prompts. I could have done it in one shot and uh, just made it in a Halloween theme. Uh, really cute. I love this book. This is really, really fun, but I thought it would be fun to uh, alter it and use some of the pages for my pocket letter journal for this October. So what I ended up doing uh, for my little cards, and this was inspired uh, by a current collaboration that's ongoing. It is being hosted by Tony's Witchy Art and Crafts, and this is the October ATC Challenge. I came to know about it through Mystical Misty's channel. I have a few other crafty friends that are also joining this wonderful collaboration. And she has two different prompts. So you can do either Halloween or you can do uh, fall. So you, you can choose between the two or do both if you would like. Another fun October daily prompt challenge that you guys might have fun following, watching, or crafting along or journaling along is hosted by April from Pink Odd Bird and Release the Craft In. Uh, this is called hashtag the oddtober24. So they, I think, have been hosting this for the last two years. I joined one year. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to complete the whole, you know, 31 days. I had some personal conflicts that didn't allow me to do it. But I will link the video of what I was able to complete and share. I have some friends, uh, BB from BB's Closet Creations, Mystical Misty, and Lori PD Pie, and I think there are a few more that I can't remember on the top of my head. Uh, all you have to do is click on that hashtag or check out the host um, channels, and then you'll get to see who participated. Now, for this ATC Challenge October, uh, Tony's first prompt, I went with the Halloween prompts, and it's Spider, and this is what I ended up making. So I don't have a lot of Halloween supplies in my stash. I wanted to make sure I used them up. So I had these glittery spiders. They had like googly eyes previously. I took them off. I thought it would be scary to see a crawling creature with no eyes. And then here's one. It's like a little wobble, a uh, little mechanism there with that single eye. So just created some layers. We have this gem brad and then this is like a dollar tree trim with the web just did some zigzag stitching and then this is a die cut that was gifted to me by marissa from fun size crafter and i just wanted to add that to the back of my atc so that's number one the next prompt was ghost and like i said i like cute halloween i had a few stickers and rub on stickers so you see the word boo and you see those ghosts kind of coming out uh this little candy corn candy was uh something that was given to me by rebecca creates i haven't seen her post any videos but she made that that was really cool and that's what i have on the back we have some of these 
cute little ghosties in their Halloween costumes. So I thought I would make that. And then for the third day, it's Jack O'Lantern was the theme. I had some leftover Tim Holtz little packaging paper that I used. I put some lined paper on the background. These were actually some remnants or threads that I had in my sewing box. I probably pulled them off some fabric. We have a cute little jack-o'-lantern little charm and then die cut, layered it, and then wood veneer, uh, jack-o'-lantern, and then this dimensional sticker. I don't think I decorated it in the back, but there is a writing space there if I would like to journal anything. Uh, but primarily for the pocket letters, it's just being able again to create and just have fun. Number four, it says which, which, um, and this is what I ended up making very simple. I did some wax gilding on the borders of our card, this beautiful foiled like gift wrapping tissue paper, and then some Dollar Tree rub on rub off sticker there's like a book underneath that and then you have this like little image here and then some dimensional stickers and then we have this skull the witch's hat and it looks like she made a mistake and drank a poisonous potion <laughs> and so that's that number five is black cat and this is what I ended up making this beautiful paper came in happy mail a long time ago from just journaling with possum patty i had some embossed paper here with some cats did some wax gilding on it just on top to show the image through there and then we have our black die cut of a cat and i put some of these uh, faceted gem dots for its eyes and i think the backside is blank now day six is bats using again the tim holtz packaging paper very simple but again just really fun we have three different types of bats here so this is dimensional sticker we have a glitter um bat and then this one i think is wood so really fun. And then the back, I just have like a little journaling spot. And then let's see, I have two more. So day seven is cobwebs. And again, uh, very simple, but just fun. I had this paper that was gifted to me by Felicia from FP Handmade. By the way, check out her channel. She makes the most amazing cards. So thank you, Felicia. And then what I did was put on top, just did an overlay of this glittery web trim. And then I had this rubbery like spider. You can see it bouncing off there. Put a little gem dot on its back. And underneath there is a gold foil paper and a web print and a skull. And that's it. And then I have like a little overhang of like this thread that I sewed this on I just it just reminds me of cobweb so I just left it there so that's our cobweb and then lastly for day eight it is graveyard so I used um just some rub-on stickers from Dollar Tree and just created a scene with a graveyard so I love that there were this were two different sticker packs so to create some depth of field, I just put the smaller uh, little th tombstone on the back and then put the larger one on the forefront. We have a um, little street light, a black rose, and then you have the crow sitting on top of that. And then this cute little bat in the distance. So that is it. These, and then on the back, I just have some embossed paper, but that is day one through eight for my pocket letter little cards and ATC size fits perfectly into those pockets. Again, this is, the prompts were provided again by Tony's Witchy Arts and Crafts and that is her October ATC challenge. So Tony, thank you so much again for the wonderful prompts. 
I hope you guys can join in the fun. And in the future, when I do my flip through of my pocket letter journal, I will be showing you that little altered book that I'll be using. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks again for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye.